G'day. My name is Kevin Sissons. I'm a strategic advisor with the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission with the Uranium Mines and Mills Division. Uh, my office is actually located in Saskatoon. Now, what role do you play in regulating uranium mining in Canada? Well, the unique thing about uh, uranium mining versus other types of mining is, is uranium mining is the very front end of it called the nuclear fuel cycle because the end product for uranium is to find its way uh, through processing and fuel uh, to feed uh, power, uh, feed up for nuclear power reactors mm -hmm. for electricity. And uh, because that's related within the nuclear fuel chain, the federal government uh, role and mandate is to oversee all aspects of nuclear facilities in Canada. So thus uranium mining is very unique and that is captured under that same fuel cycle uh, oversight. Okay, now in Nunavut, we, as you know, we have a regulatory system that grew out of the Nunavut Land Claim Agreement okay. where we have co-management bodies like the Water Board and the Impact Review Board and so on. Right. Yes. And we also have uh, the Department of Indian and Northern Affairs and other government right. departments holding enforcement powers. Uh, what kinds of enforcement powers do you have to uh, ensure that companies are acting in accordance with regulations? Yeah. Well, the uh, Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission is, is fortunate. We have a very set of modern act and regulations that actually came into play in May of 2000. Uh, they're a very uh, powerful set of regulations and uh, we have the, the full constitutional authority as a, as a high power authority on the oversight of all nuclear facilities. And in this case, it includes the front end, uranium mines as well. So what that means is we are another regulatory oversight uh, in, in this activity if it was to occur for uranium mining in Nunavut, besides for the other potential uh, authorities you've talked of, uh, the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission is another one of those. So our role, similar to how we've done in uranium mining in, say, Saskatchewan, is that we would harmonize a process, a regulatory oversight process with them. I, I use the term, I call it regulatory defense in depth. We have a number of players of oversight and, um, and regulatory uh, uh, powers, and ours would just be another one of those sets of powers, and uh, our, we have uh, powers for compliance, licensing, and enforcement actions, and they're very strong, modern uh, pieces of legislation that empowers us to do that. Okay, and can you give some concrete examples of the kinds of issues that you would regulate for? Does that include worker safety, uh, transportation, environmental issues, and, and, and so on? Do you have authority over air, all those areas? Yes, uh, basically everything related to the nuclear facility itself, and all aspects of it, from the development and uh, mining, uh, <laughs> from the uh, transportation of the ore, from the mine to the mill, the milling of the ore, the uh, waste management, uh, the waste products and material from the, uh, from the mill itself, uh, then the processed product, the yellow cake, uh, uranium concentrate, um, it's how it's packaged and then how it's transported from the facility. And then there's a set of regulations for all transport of nuclear materials in Canada. And then we go on down the chain of processing through fuel processing to uh, feeding of it to nuclear power reactors to the nuclear power operation as well. So basically everything nuclear, including the front end of uranium money, right to the waste management aspects at the very mm -hmm. end, are all covered under our legislation and under our authority. All right, that's all I wanted to ask you. Is there anything you'd like to add that I might have forgotten? Um, the key to all this is, is uh, as we go to different regions, as, as a new type of uh, development may occur, uh, the CNSC may be, may be new to this region. In Nunavut, it's been for a number of years, we've been coming forward as the talks of potential uranium mining might arise here. Mm -hmm. But in essence, Canadian Nuclear Safety oversees, uh, a, uh, we have about 3,500 licenses across, mm -hmm. across this country. There's nuclear substances, materials, radiographers, waste management, there's uh, university institutions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, research reactors. So we have a very wholesome 
uh, nuclear industry in Canada overseen mm -hmm. by the, the federal regulator, the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. And this is just one aspect, and it may seem new to some people, but mm -hmm. we, we have over 65 years of experience now, and under our new legislation since the year 2000, uh, uh, we are just to continue to, to improve and, and get engaged with, uh, with the public, uh, with Aboriginal peoples, to ensure they understand their role, mm -hmm. and to be available to answer questions, provide information. Uh, and work with other authorities who also mm -hmm. have a vested interest in these facilities across Canada. Okay, uh, thank you very much.